What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we're talking about iOS 11.2.6. This is an update that I didn't think would be happening in the first place, but there's a pretty big text message glitch going around very similar and comparable to the effective power bug from a few years ago. Now just recently, Apple had another issue with sending text messages and them crashing your device that was fixed in I think iOS 11.2.5 or iOS 11.2.2 or 2.3. There's been so many releases on top of iOS 11.2 because for some reason iOS 11.2 Point two has been plagued by issues on top of issues. And this one is pretty serious. It's a lot more serious than the last text message bug that was present inside of iOS 11. This will freeze up and crash your messages app repeatedly. And it also affects a number of other apps as well, which is a pretty big deal. So what happens is you receive this text message and it crashes your messages app. And the only way for your messages app to stop crashing is for a number of other text messages to be sent in the same thread. So that basically when you tap on the notification, when you go into the messages app that line of text it's an Indian character cannot be on your screen and it's an Indian character that crashes your device it's always something very random that messes with the way Unicode is processed and that is what causes your device to crash so to fix it you want to have the same person that sent you that text message send you a number of other texts in that same thread or have an entirely different person start a new thread with you and then send you more text messages that don't include this character. What happens is if that character is on the screen at any time you launch a certain thread, it will crash your device. In some cases, my iPhone 8 actually crashed entirely. The good news is, is that a fix is coming. It's coming in iOS 11.2.6. But if you're on iOS 11.2.5, for sure it will crash your device. It's already been corrected in iOS 11.3, so it appears that Apple is aware of the issue. But if you're on something other than iOS 11.3 right now, it appears that you are susceptible to the issue, and pretty much anyone can freeze up your messages app at any time. I can't believe that we're seeing more issues like this already. We just had an issue about a month or two ago where it was something similar but not as serious. Now we're having this where it can freeze your device, cause your device to restart or do a quick respring, and make the messages app unusable for a while, which could definitely be an issue if you're trying to have a conversation with someone or, or someone's trying to troll you and they keep repeatedly sending you this text message. So it is a pretty serious issue. I haven't seen anything like this for about two years since Effective Power. Apple confirmed that a fix for this was coming to iMore, so we know that this is legit. This isn't a rumor. This isn't speculation. Apple confirmed that they are working on a fix. It will be launching ahead of iOS 11.3. So we have that to look forward to near the end of this week or maybe the very beginning of next week. It doesn't seem like this is something that Apple is going to want to wait on and hesitate on. I believe a fix is being beta tested right now internally, and we should be seeing this update in the very near future. Future. Now, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think that this is a big deal? Have you been affected by this bug? And do you think iOS is continually plagued by more and more issues than ever before? It's definitely weird that we keep seeing new issues pop up. Never in the history of myself in five years of covering Apple have I seen this many bugs and glitches in one iOS release. iOS 11 has been relentlessly plagued by issues, but I'm glad to see that a fix is coming and uh, let me know what you think about this down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below, and of course hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch, use code iOS for 10% off. That would be incredible, I just dropped some new stuff there. But for now, I've been Sam, hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.